Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody. The 12th of July. Good to see you all. Tim, Grant, good to see you. Good morning. Ben, good to see you, buddy. Brian, Bill, Chris, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Let's get ready to get started. Hope everybody's getting ready for the weekend. It is going to be a gorgeous weekend here in New York. So what does that tell us about this day, traders? Might be a pretty quiet day. Um, you know, it's the summertime. We, I keep repeating it all the time. And I'm going to keep reminding everybody of it. You got to take it with a grain of salt and see what's out there. But there are some of the stocks I'm moving this morning. We're going to check them out. Uh, just give you guys a little heads up uh, regarding about tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday, and I will be working on Saturday. Yes, I'm going to be on Metastock. I'm going to be doing a presentation. I've got a lot of great presenters on Metastock. There's going to be about uh, five or six presenters. They do their the online trading summit. So you guys ain't going to be around. Or, you know, you know, you can always log on your cell phone right on the beach. Feel free to come and see us, all right? All right, in the meantime, uh, let's get to, let me get, let me, ooh, got the wrong screen up and sharing. Here, there we go. All right, so we got a couple of stocks that are moving this morning. And uh, let me tell you something. I dodged a bullet on one of them. And uh, thank God I did because I would have took a little nasty hit right there. But we're going to talk about a couple of stocks that are out there. First of all, I want to talk about Snap, Snapchat. Snapchat, you know, we've been watching for a while. You know, you hear about all the social media stocks doing phenomenal. You see YouTube, you see Twitter, you see whatever. I mean, Facebook and, and Google. But Snapchat never popped, you know. A company went public, took a, uh, took a beat down, and uh, Ben uh, posted up what, what he saw with um, Benzinga out there. And uh, Goldman Sachs actually did an upgrade. Let me tell you something about Goldman Sachs, Okay. He's like the Merrill Lynch guy on TV. So when Goldman Sachs talks, people, you better listen. They are the godfather of trading, okay? Period, hands down. Nobody, nobody can outsmart Goldman Sachs. I don't care who you are. Not even the government can outsmart Goldman Sachs. When you see people, you know, in, 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 in politics that are getting into politics, what, what are they? The Goldman Sachs guys, okay? They're not you know, Bank of America guys, you know, disrespect to them. I'm just telling you, I don't know if you know this, but 70% of the profit, the profit that Goldman Sachs makes is not from their brokerage firms. It's not from their accounting deals. It's not from charging commissions. It's their trading desk. They are the, they are the smartest and best traders in, in the industry. I'm just going to tell you a quick little story, and we're going to move on with the picks, uh, what we're seeing this morning. But let me tell you, everyone remember what, about, what happened to Hurricane Sandy. Let me tell you a little funny story about Hurricane Sandy. When Hurricane Sandy hit here in New York, people were like, what the hell is Goldman Sachs doing with their building down uh, in downtown in their, in their headquarters? You know what they did? They had a bunch of tractor trailers coming in there, putting sand barriers around their building. And everybody's like, what, what, what are they accomplishing? Well, if you've ever been to New York and saw what happened— um, Wall Street was shut down for, for some, some places for months. Well, they were up and running the next morning, and they made a killing because uh, they didn't want to close their trading desk. What? So they spent, a, they spent a couple of tens of thousands of dollars. They probably made a couple of hundred million, if not billion, that day. All right. So with that said, let's keep an eye on Snapchat because I think I'm going to go on a swing trade on this one. What do they do? From 16 to 18? That's actually, you know, not, not terrible. But you could see... Some of us probably feel we missed the boat when it was at six. But listen, there's a lot of good swing trades out there. You know, it's happening. The great news is that the market broke an all-time high. You know, I mean, we should we should be we should be very proud of that. We should, uh, you know, let's give a little uh, cash register and a big applause to the Dow Jones. And you know what? You know what we what we what we learn in class when you break all-time highs, guys. Where's the next resistance? Pfft, there really isn't any. So. Um, you know, what's next stop? 32,000. Uh, 32, I said it was going to be, I said last year, if you remember and you watch some of the videos, I, I've kind of predicted, I said, you know what? With this economy and what's going on, I could see we could be at 32,000 uh, by 2020. Uh, and I, th I think it's it's still going to happen, you know? But anyway, uh, I, didn't, I, think, I didn't think it was going to get up this fast. Now, let's go over a couple of stocks, see what's moving. First of all, um, I want to talk about a. The, Regarding about yesterday, we did add a couple of good stocks that did make some nice moves, and a few of them, one of them was Hook. I know that stock just took off at the end of the day from 7 to 11, but it backed off. We'll keep an eye on this one this morning. I'll put this on the watch list, but I know a lot of you guys did trade the S, 
OLY trade. That one was great at the morning. That thing just took off from 17 uh, at 10 o'clock. It was a little late starter, but from 17 all the way to 21, that one was pretty good. Fast was also a nice, very interesting stock. That one did pretty well uh, yesterday. That had a nice little move. Uh, that one, that one we did pretty well on it. Was another good one that we had, and uh, the VISL. Not much that going on that afternoon, but I just want to bring up that VISL. Look what ended up happening. You see, we made a lot of money on VISL. That stock was a great mover, but sure enough, that was your typical short squeeze. I know Micron Technologies was another one you guys checked out, and that one did pretty well, uh, pretty strong. It's testing some resistance levels. It's almost at that 45 resistance level, so I'll be careful of that. NTNX is another one that also had a nice little pop early in the morning, but that pretty much does it. It wasn't the greatest day, but... You know, we did pretty, we pretty de did pretty decent overall. Now, what's moving this morning? Well, listen, um, we got the snap SGVX. I want to bring this one up. Let me tell you something. I dodged a bullet on this one. I lost money on this trade. I put a limit order out there, and at, at a buck forty six, I saw a huge buyer out there. And then when I was looking at my level four, I saw like a twenty thirty thousand share. And I posted up in the trading room, and I says, you know what? He was at. Um, he was at like 45. I jumped a penny above and, uh, the stock was actually tanking from a buck 80. And I said, well, you know, maybe it'll bounce. And sure enough, I got filled. I'm like, oh, great. I got filled. Sure enough, the thing tanked and I got out immediately. I didn't lose a lot. I lost six cents in a trade, uh, d broke the 30 second rule. But good thing I got out of it. Cause look, the thing dropped all the way to a buck 10. And you know what? If that was the case, that six cent loss would have been a $400 loss. Big, big difference guys. You know, so if everybody thinks we don't lose money in here, yeah, we lose money. The point is just watch how we control them and how few we have. And that is one classic way of doing it. So, you know, everybody likes to brag about the winners. Nobody likes to talk about the winners. I like to talk about the winners because the winners are what teach you um, how to control them. So that one worked out pretty well. The other one, the MDGS was another one uh, that we found in pre-market this morning. I don't know what happened to it, but she just took off and then she tanked. So that one, um, it's still up 48%, million nine shares traded. We'll keep a close eye on that one. Uh, that one, uh, but it looks like she's uh, breaking lower lows. So we'll see she holds here. But you could see that this stock was a very expensive stock a while ago between all the stock splits and reverse stock splits. I don't know. Maybe it could be like another, it could be like another one of the, was the VISLs. All right. What else that moved up pretty well? We got that one. Uh, you... X I N that one is moving up 10%, almost 300,000 shares traded. We got a 13,000 share seller holding the block uh, and a 15,000 share seller holding the fort over here, preventing from going higher. Let's see if these guys get done, but that looks like a pretty substantial resistance that does break it. Look for the stock to go away to this 15,000 share seller at 280. Remember, follow the money guys, but that one looks pretty good. Also, I know a lot of you guys were looking at this one ETF. So this one ETF, obviously, you could see it was, it was a $700 stock not too long ago. Actually, the stock was almost at 300 Listen, ETFs are very dangerous, guys. You know, unless you're a level three trader is one thing. But listen, these things are extremely volatile. And uh, you can make a lot of money. You can lose a lot of money. But she's moving pretty good. She looks like she's going to probably test that resistance levels right around 20 from yesterday. But you'd be very, very careful with them. They got some crazy shakes. You can't day trade these things, and you got to trade very, very small volumes of it. INFY is another one that's moving uh, pretty nicely, up uh, 5%. Stock already traded half a million shares. Got an 86,000 smackaroo seller right there at 1140. He's kind of holding it from breaking that high right there. And you got another 20,000 share seller out there. The stock does trade a lot of volume, so you kind of get used to it. Uh, but that's a pretty big iceberg order out there. And you can see it's actually doing a pretty good job of it. But if these guys get done, listen, this stock can move. Ben said he's up about 55 cents in uh, the VVPR. Let me just bring that up right there. The VVPR, great, great stock right there, VVPR. And had a really nice push. Just give him a round of applause. Always nice to be up 55 cents before the market opens up. There's still people waiting what they're going to be doing. But nice little trade right there. I think that one is pretty, you know, really, really nice. But I got a three-minute chart. I don't like, like, look at three minutes. Look at there, one minute. Got some nasty shakes, though. Be careful of the spread. Remember what I mentioned early in the trading room, guys. You got to be very careful with these stocks. Spreads kill you. Ticket charges are nothing. You buy the stock 
at the offer and, you, and you're wrong, you sell on the bid, you could be losing five to 10 cents on a thousand shares, be 50 to a hundred dollars. So always try to buy with your limit orders on bid. Let the stock come to you. All right. All right, everyone. So those are our watch lists. That's what we're going to be going on. We'll, um, listen, it's Friday. Remember what I told you? A lot of people are going to be taking off. It is absolutely beautiful here. Not a cloud in the sky in New York. We're going to be in the 80s. I know a lot of people are going to want to, a lot of traders are going to be skipping and going down to their, their uh, million dollar homes out in the Hamptons. So, you know, but we all know, also know Fridays, you know, we don't get a lot, but if things move, they do move. I, and I, especially Friday afternoons, you always find one. You know what? Don't log in at 2.30. If you don't, we don't see anything at 2.30, and then you can take the day off. Um, but, you know, definitely want to stick around till then. In the meantime, don't forget about the upcoming events, and uh, just be careful going to this open. All right, guys? Good luck today. Happy trading.